hey y'all welcome to this video it's blake and today i'm getting ready i had a event to go to with my family and i needed to do my hair this is the end of the blowout from my last video so the blowout and pin curls and i wanted to do wand curls since my hair was still pretty stretched so i'm just adding in some heat protectant this is by silk elements just you know to be safe And I'm going to be doing wand curls, which is one of my favorite hairstyles that I forgot about. Because uh, after I did it, I'm like, this, I'm doing this every week. I just love them so much. I love how they look. It was giving like twist out, but better. And yes, like just so far, I'm just loving my, I feel like I'm talking about it a little bit too much, the stretched hair, but I don't know why I left it so long, but now that I've come back to it, it just feels like me, okay? So I'm parting my hair out into sections to get this done because unfortunately the one con about wand curls although it's like a heat style it's fast you don't have to wait for it to dry you do have to sit there and curl each piece and hold it on for a little bit and so that can take some time about an hour it usually takes me about an hour to do so i'm just getting my hair sectioned off to start wand curling I had two irons to choose from one was a thicker tapered barrel by t3 and i was just seeing if my hair would even wrap around the barrel and it actually did i was surprised i thought my hair would have been too short for this one but i honestly prefer non-tapered wand curls if that makes sense because it doesn't tapered wand curls don't really give it's kind of un unnecessary when my hair is like not straight in a way i don't know i feel like it doesn't really do that well if you don't have like straight hair if that makes sense so i decided to go with my one half inch i think it might be curling iron that i got from the beauty supply works great it makes like small wand curls and because i was more in a rush i was taking like pretty large sections not too large but i was taking as big as sections as i could to move fast so they created a chunkier look because i was kind of in a hurry but if I was doing this as a weekly hairstyle, I would take my time a little bit more and take smaller sections to get it to last like the full week, which by the way, it did last and it lasted amazingly. That's why I was like, I have like, this is my new thing because it lasted over, it, it lasted the entire week, right? But as it grew and like aged and got just like frizzed out, I don't know if it's my new shape or the wand curls themselves, but it just looked good the entire time and when it was frizzed out it was just giving like big hair like it was just it was i should have documented i'll have to do that the next time i'll probably do, um start back up the week in my hair videos and it'll probably be on wand curls first because i just loved how it got older and that's what really made me want to do this hairstyle like every week because or maybe make it my new go-to I use the curling iron to just like straighten the roots just a little bit it's not that serious like the option is that step is optional and I wrap my hair around twist the wrists you know how to want to curl hopefully there's probably better tutorials if you don't as you can see also after I took it off the curling iron i pulled it so it wouldn't be too shrunken up because i wanted it to lay perfectly on this day and then i'm hitting it with some hairspray and this one is by aussie it's i think it's called like big hair day or something like that and i made sure to hairspray every single piece and that is also what helped it last the entire week it definitely like this hairstyle definitely needs a holding spray because you're not using any kind of product and it's not drying in place so you're not like um setting it with water which is last longer than setting with heat i think i feel like it kind of does so hairspray is i'm um, gonna hold it the entire time i feel like if i did smaller sections it might last like more than a week i'm 
I'm feeling like I could probably do this hairstyle every week, once a week. I know when I used to do um, blow dry styles, um, I, I said that I blow dried my hair every two weeks because I didn't want to add, I didn't want to put too much heat on my hair. And that's basically what I did. But it did leave like the second week to be like drier. So I feel like I'm trying to weigh out if hydrating, like rehydrating, detangling my hair every week and put in blow drying it every week is worse than doing it, washing, rehydrating my, my hair every two weeks to blow dry it every two, to blow dry it less, you know, because then my hair becomes drier. Like, is it more beneficial to keep it like rehydrated or to use less heat? I don't really know because I'm gonna wear my hair in this way anyways, I feel like the heat isn't really that big of a factor. So I will most likely be like switching it up sometimes, but if I don't know what to do with my hair, I'll probably just do this as something that's quick and easy and can be done all in one day, if you know what I mean. I like those kind of hairstyles now. I don't like hairstyles that take three days to dry <laughs> or you know, that need to dry over the course of the day. I don't like air drying, I don't air dry. If it needs to dry, I'll sit under the, a hooded dryer. So. Those are just the kind of hairstyles I like. I like my hair to be done in like one sitting and it to just be easy and really cute. So yeah, I also, I would highly recommend this kind of hairstyle if like rotting your hair on flexi rods or perm rods is like not your thing and you mainly do like twist outs or braid outs. Definitely try wand curls because it's a little bit easier to do. You don't have to like fumble with the curlers and it's like a really cute hairstyle. I'm probably gonna be doing this hairstyle for my wedding day, honestly. I might like straighten it a little bit to give it, um, to make it a little bit more long, longer lasting, but at the same time, I might not have to do that, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do some variation of wand curls. I'm, I'm almost positive, I'm almost positive. All right, so I've made it to my last piece. And this overall took me, I, th I think probably 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not exactly sure, but you do kind of have to take your time because you don't want to burn yourself. And this is probably the first time I've never like burned myself while curling my hair. I guess I was a little bit more careful. Um, but I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the video, I did lay a shirt on my legs just in case anything happened. Cause the last time I was using hot tools when I was straightening my hair, I burnt my legs so bad and I'll have a permanent scar right front and center on my thigh. So I just did not want that to happen again. So if you are heat styling and you're not going to stand up, you're going to sit down, make sure to put something on your legs or just wear pants or something. I'm always bare legged. So I have to put something down. So I hit the, my whole head with hairspray. I really went in with the hairspray. I wanted everything to hold because this hairstyle can easily frizz out. And I feel like the hairspray really helped it not frizz out and last so long. Cause there's been lots of times I've done wand curls and they just frizzed out in the same day. Granted I was like warm, but this day I sat outside. We had sat outside to eat and my hair was fine. And this was, and then it lasted the entire rest of the week. So I want to say it was the hairspray that really did it, especially considering I did chunky sections. As you can see, it's kind of like I did a chunky twist out kind of, and I really, I thought that was kind of cute. Now I'm just gonna do my edges. I use the Kiss Edge Fixer. This isn't like any specific edge control that I like. It's just one that I have and it does the job. Also, if you're wondering how to maintain this style, I'll probably do a full tutorial on it soon. But in the meantime, I split my hair down the middle in half. So I had a section on the right and the left and just put it higher up into a satin scrunchie. I didn't twist the scrunchie. I just put the scrunchie around. I didn't like tie it 
or loop it any more than that and then put the bonnet on top and they fell down perfectly every single day and so it was like super easy to maintain as well so i really enjoyed that So for my eyebrows, I'm using the Sephora brow pencil. I think this might be in, I don't know what the color name is, maybe ebony or maybe like light brown or something like that. And I'm also using the e.l.f. wow brow. So for concealer, I'm going to use e.l.f.'s Hydrating Camo Concealer, which is my go-to concealer and one of my favorites. It's probably a staple at this point for like my everyday looks. And um, I usually just do like a concealer, like I don't do, I don't use any like liquid foundations. So I like that these come in like different shades. You can just kind of do a concealer and it, it's just like a great look. So as y'all see, I'm brushing out my lashes. I did um, the DIY lash extensions, which is something I'm probably gonna start doing consistently now because, how, did I talk about this? I don't think so, but <laughs> I go back and forth between trying j just different lash methods, trying to find like the perfect one that I can maintain that works for me and that like helps me have like a uh, daily cute look, if that makes sense. And so I've tried the lash, the strip lashes. I used to be a strip lash person for a while. And then I always dabbled in the individuals and I used to do them more often. And then I stopped and I was only wearing mascara. Like all last year, I think I was only wearing mascara. I tried lash extensions a couple years ago and they it didn't go well. I hated how they fell out and then they just didn't come off. And I just don't like lash extensions so much because they are so expensive and just don't last at all. For as long as they last, they're just like too, too much in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know what it is about, about paying for them that I just don't like. They just, it's not something that I would keep, that I would maintain on like a monthly basis. And you have to, like, they don't even last a month, but they cost over a hundred dollars. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy to me. So I've decided I'll probably just keep up with my individual lashes i have a good system too i really love how they look like in this video i have them done and i just they look so good i just have to take like 30 minutes to do them every week um but i use like lash trios from the beauty supply and then i use ardell's individual lash glue and they also have a remover if you get the glue make sure you get the remover so you can take them off but i recently got a actual like professional lash well, I got a lash remover for professional lash extensions for whatever glues they use off of Amazon from the last time I got my lashes done that fell out in a couple of days and it was like the worst experience. Uh, so I got that to remove them because I was so upset. I was like, I just need these off my eyes because they had all fallen out and I had like five lashes left that just wouldn't fall out. So I got that and I used that to remove this glue and that out. That worked way better than the glue that I came with. And it was like $6 on Amazon. So I would recommend that. Finishing off my look, um, I think I used a Fenty Gloss Balm and um, a Morphe Lip Liner. And I'm wearing my glasses today. I've been wearing my glasses. And I love it. Glasses are just so easy. So the outfit that I'm wearing is from Zara. It was a matching set that I got earlier when the summer was starting. 
and I couldn't decide which bag. I ended up going with the coach bag and then I had some like matching sandals and I wore my Mugler perfume. And it was a great look. It was super comfortable, but really cute. Sets are my favorite things. I love like easy outfits these days and not trying so hard. <laughs> so this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.